This is the Rosie Muller. She reminds me a bit of the Hispania. It's quite a deep wreck, so we did a relatively short dive on it. But first, Gareth, our dive guide, demonstrated what a negative entry should look like. That's not as elegant as he hopes. <laughs> Yeah, remember your weight belt next time. The line was on the stern and we're uh, swimming over hold number four. There's the uh, stern mask collapsed. And now we're looking towards the bomb damage. We weren't going to go in, but then I saw a few lionfish, so I thought I'll drop down and have a look at them. And then we were in the hold, so we thought we may as well continue. Fortunately, Dave Pye explained how to get to the engine room, which is the star attraction on this wreck. And you get in via hold number three. It's a triple expansion engine. Maximum depth on this dive was 38.6, so you can get into the engine room and remain within the 40 meters. But if you go lower down into the engine room where all the gauges etc are, you're gonna hit 43, 45 meters, which we didn't do. Next to the engine room is another room which houses the base of the funnel and I suppose beneath that are the boilers but we uh, obviously didn't bother going that far into the ship. Now just swimming over the bridge to hold number two. This is Graham hanging around the uh, crow's nest on the forward mast. And this is John making his way to the bows. And you describe this as a general view of the bows. Somebody doing a, their titanic moment at the front. While we were at the bows, John spotted this little fish. It's called a torpedo ray, very unusual. And just behind it was one of many lionfish that we saw on this wreck. And now we're heading back to the stern line. We're just drifting over the midships section. I think that's Paul and Dave. No doubt had a look in the engine room. And there's a few other divers beginning their dives. This is where things started to go wrong. John and I got separated and we didn't get back together until the safety stop. Both of us had to go into deco. So we sat out the next dive on the Rosie Muller, but to be honest we thought we'd nailed it on this dive. <laughs> <laughs> 